Hi, welcome to my video. I was having a very annoying issue with RetroArch, which I had just gotten started trying out on my phone. Every time I would switch from RetroArch to another app and then go back to RetroArch, RetroArch would crash. That's very annoying, and I'm going to demonstrate that issue right now. And if you want to skip ahead to the workaround, I've got a time code in the description to that section. So, first I'll demonstrate the issue. And there's actually two different issues that had the same symptoms. I'm, and I'm going to show you how to fix both of those, or work around them. Um, at this time, I don't know of a proper fix. But nonetheless, this will get you going. So... First, this issue was affecting all emulators. At least all the ones that I tested. So I'm going to show that right now. I'm going to open Sonic 3. Mega. So that's working. Alright, so we're here at the file select screen. I'm going to switch out, open it up, and it crashed. And the game is gone. Nowhere to be found. So you can see that's gone. So, now I'll show you what you can do to fix this. Now, as far as I know, with this, there is no downside to disabling this option. So you're going to first go to Settings, Video, and then turn off this option that says Threaded Video. Now, there's also another gotcha to this that I didn't understand. See, the app requires a restart after changing this setting. But don't close it by just tabbing out of it and then swiping it up. You need to go back to the main menu and then quit RetroArch right there at the bottom. Now the option has been saved. So now you can open up RetroArch again, go to your game... that the game didn't crash how's that now there's also a different issue that i was having with specifically n64 games you'll see i have super mario 64 here which i've been trying out lately and i've been enjoying the game and so this emulator has the same kind of problem but specific to it so we're gonna open the game It's me, Mario! Alright, so we're here. We're gonna go Hello. to the boss like screen. And what the hell? It crashes. Alright. Well, don't fret, because I have a workaround for you. Now, this is going to involve changing the emulator core that you're using. Uh, so if you want to use this core right here... Well, uh, two words for you, that sucks, because you're going to have to change out that core. Now, I, I'm i personally a newbie to RetroArch, so I don't know why you would specifically want this and not to change, but nonetheless, I don't know of a fix for this core. So what you're going to need to do is go download the Parallel N64 core. But there's another trick to this. If you went to the Google Play Store to install RetroArch, which you probably did, unless you didn't, then you're not going to see any other cores than, than this one. So, um, if you want to install Parallel N64 and be able to work around the problem, you're actually going to have to go to a different website in order to install that core. And I've got that down in the description you'll see a link where you can install the different core. And so I'm going to go do that off camera, and then I'll show you that it's working. Okay, I am back. I have downloaded and extracted the zip file of the core that we need. So we're going to go to RetroArch, load core, install or restore a core, 
and then go to the directory that you extracted the zip file in and you pick the parallel n64 libretro android.so file now to demonstrate we're going to go to the game and just make sure that you're going to be picking the parallel n64 core And let's see what happens. And look at that. Look at that. It works just fine like it's supposed to. Wouldn't you know it? I've got one more thing for you before I wrap up this video. I found deleting a core to be quite unintuitive. What you must do is you must load the core that you want to delete. So in that case, that's going to be this guy because it doesn't work. After you've loaded the core, go to information core information scroll all the way to the bottom and delete core now the core is gone and the only core left is the one that we want that's good so all of that said i don't know how to fix the normal n64 core but really i'm just glad that i found a way that it is possible to play N64, at least on my kind of phone, without having it crash every time I tab out of it. And likewise, for the rest of the games, when turning off the first option that I showed. So I'm really glad about that because I bought a really nice game controller uh, during the Black Friday deals. And I was really excited to play with it. And then I was really bummed when I found this RetroArch bug. <laughs> now I'm really happy again because... I, because now I don't have it crashing all the time. So, that said, I hope you have a lot of fun, and thank you for watching. See you next time.